So no, we were not saved by works, but we were saved to do his work. I want to make sure that it is abundantly clear to you all that we are saved only by our faith, our faith alone. We, we are not required to produce works in order to be saved, and we are not required to produce works in order to stay safe. However, because we are saved, we are going to do some sort of work. Now, to what degree, to what measurement, we don't know. There's no way we can measure it, although we do know that we're told what we will do. And it's validated by none other than the Trinity, by God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus even makes a statement. He says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers, the workers are few. Pray, therefore, that, the God, would, that God would send these laborers. Now, how do we know that we are going to do something? Again, we don't know to what degree. It might be just praying for someone, showing some love, out there witnessing, helping someone. We don't know how, how visible it's going to be. Don't know. Can't tell if you're going to do it or that I'm doing it. You can't tell. However, all we do know is what the scriptures say. And so there's got to be this harmony between our faith and then what our faith is going to do in us. Now, we are told in Ezekiel 36, really quick passage, that when the spirit is in us, that he is going to cause us to work. He says, I will put my spirit within you and cause you, the word is asa, and then halak for walk, which is to go, to walk in my, or to go in my statutes or my teachings, and you will be careful to observe my ordinances. Doesn't mean that he's going to cause us to keep the law. No, he's just going to cause us, whatever his teachings are, that we are going to walk in them, that we're going to do those things. Again, how many of those things? Perfectly, obviously not perfectly, but we will do something in him. Jesus even makes this statement that sometimes gets twisted by a lot of people in the charismatic movement where they think that uh, we are going to do greater works than him. No, we're going to do more. Let's go to that passage. Look what it says. It says, truly, truly, I say to you that he who believes, remember, that's the key, the believing ones. And by the way, the word that's used there, the believing ones is hapistuan. So the ones who's believing, that believing person, he in me. The works that I do, the Bible says that he will do, and the word is poi ase, which is a future active indicative, meaning he will do these things. He will what? He will work. And more works or greater works he will do because I go to the Father. Again, we're not saying that he's going to do something better than Jesus, but he's going to do the work of Jesus, which is to, as Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians, we are to reconcile people. The Bible says that uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And so now we also, as a result, if we keep reading, we have been given the ministry of reconciliation. That's the work of Christ. And so we are going to do that very same work in greater volume because now I have the Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit. All these other people who are in Christ have the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says that the believing ones, the one who does believe, again, that's how we get saved. And so after you believe, he says you will do the work that he does or did, which is to reconcile the people to himself. He's he's doing that work in us now. And then we're told in uh, Ephesians 2 that God prepared these works for us. It says that in Ephesians 2.10, he says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Well, what was prepared beforehand? The good works, the thing that God had prepared beforehand, we have been created to do those things. And Ephesians 1 tells us, as well as also Romans 8, that we are going to be conformed to the image of his son and doing these things by who? By the Holy Spirit. So no, we were not saved by works, but we were saved to do his work, the work that Jesus did, is the work that we will do according to his own word. Amen.